to my channel today I'll be filming an eyeshadow tutorial an eyeshadow tutorial yeah that's right y'all heard it right an eyeshadow tutorial this one is for everybody who has hooded eyes who everybody who wants to learn how to do their eyeshadow everybody who has been asking me Alexis can you do an eyeshadow tutorial this one is for y'all so if you want to see how I created this look stay tuned and continue watching okay so first things first <clears throat> I'm going to apply a moisturizer slash primer on my face. And the one, I already applied it so it could get sticky and um, it could dry up a little bit. Um, but the one I applied was the Neverman Sensitive Pulse Shave Balm. I love this. I have oily skin, but it works for me. I love it. Um, so I just applied it all over my face and I let it dry. So now, I don't know what look I'm going for, what eyeshadow I'm going to do, but let's just do it. Okay, so first off, I'm going to apply primer on my eyelids. And I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm going to apply that on my lids. So a little bit goes a long way. Just go ahead and apply it all over your eyelids. Lips. And it'll be this shade Free Spirit. So I'm just going to set that all over my eyes so my eye won't crease, budge, or move. With the Tarlette and Bloom palette. And I'm going in with the shade Rebel. This one right here. And I'm using the Morphe N50 brush. It's like a pointed eyeshadow brush. So we're going to tap off that excess. And we're going to put this directly in the crease. Now from the same palette, Tarlette and Bloom, we're going to go in with the shade Leader. Deepen the crease a little bit. So when you're doing your eyeshadow, you don't want to hold it up here and blend because you're putting too much pressure. You'll be putting too much pressure on your brush. You want to hold it like so, like towards the back as far as you can and just lightly blend. That's so it could blend more smoothly and so you won't have any harsh lines in your shadow okay so now I'm going to take my color tattoo by eyeshadow eye studio and it's in it's the Maybelline color 24 tattoo and they are just gel gel pods that I use to set as a base so I'm gonna take a flat brush this doesn't have no name on it I bought it off of Amazon, came with a set, and we're just going to dip it in that gel, and it's like we're going to clean up our crease. I 
and that's all we're going to end with that rebel cutter dust off the excess and we're just gonna add a little bit more and then I'm gonna blend it up I'm just gonna make sure everything's seamless everything is nicely blended the base the gel <clears throat> the gel is just gonna act as a base so the color I'm going to use will pop out more so now I'm going with my I'm just gonna blend that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, well what I already did was apply in the beginning we applied the Neva Men Post Bond Shave applied that as a moisturizer slash primer but we're going to go ahead and prime even more so we're going to use the, uh, the NYX pore filler only on the areas where you have more pores where your pores show more so all I applied it was on my nose and under my eyes then we're going to go in with the NYX Shine Killer and that's for if you have oily skin and then we're going to go ahead and we um I applied it so it could take off all foundation but I'm going to speed it up a little bit um but my foundation I'm going to do it just so y'all can know how I do my foundation so a lot of people want to know how I do my foundation so we're going to go in with the Mil Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 and I'm in the shade 02 Natural so, so we're going to use that and we're going to use an e.l.f. buffing brush. So what I'm going to do is put a few drops on this. So that So I'm going to set it all over my face. And I use this as, um, as a foundation powder instead of a regular powder. I may look crazy, but this is what works for me best. 
So now that we let that sit for a little bit, we're going to dust all the powder off. final look this is how i created everything um the key to eyeshadow is blending blending and using transition colors um it's simple it's easy it takes practice but i did decide to go with the bold lip because i love bold colors i love dark colors um it's just my thing um and this is how I got everything. I hope it helped in any way possible. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, go ahead and drop a comment. And I'll reply back to you as soon as I like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in my next video.